My name is Tim Hall. I'm the executive chef at the Venetian River Club. And my trusty uh, sidekick, Ewan De Silva, is my sous. He's the one that is doing the filming. Um, I'm going to be making a menu dish that is on the menu. Uh, it's called grouper panay. So I have uh, black grouper, garlic, shallots, salt and pepper, of course, basil, Italian parsley, whole butter, risotto, and fresh lemons, and also a weakened chicken stock, and also trusty white wine as well. There we go. Okay, so to start, uh, first thing I am going to do is uh, want to make start making the risotto. So it is about three or four ladlefuls of chicken stock. And to that, I am going to add uh, parsley, Parmesan cheese, and butter, and a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm going to get that on medium heat and just let that do its thing. So then for the preparation of the grouper, make sure that it is a hot pan. And while I'm while I'm waiting for the pan to heat up, I'm gonna salt and pepper the grouper on both sides. And what you're looking for is just uh, like when it starts to uh, get a wisp of smoke, which will be about maybe a minute, another minute or so. And then to make sure that your uh, risotto doesn't stick. might have to add a little bit more uh, chicken stock to it. As one of the chefs that I used to work with, it's supposed to flow like lava. That's what you're looking for. I think we're ready to go. So start off the pan with butter. That's a good sign. Start searing off your grouper. And what you're looking for is just the, for it to start to get brown. That's what you're looking for is that nice brown crust on it. And then to this, I am going to go ahead and add in uh, some of the shallots. Some garlic. it with some white wine and some chicken stock. And I'm going to finish that in the oven. And you want your oven to be around about 400, four and a quarter. I think I'm going to add a little bit more chicken stock to it. And one half of a lemon. Make sure the seeds don't go in. Nobody likes the seeds. I think it just needs a little bit more salt and pepper. And 
we're going to let that sit. <laughs> All right, so also we're going to do a veg with it, which is uh, green beans and grape tomatoes. So again, get the pan hot, not as hot as for the grouper. Throw in your green beans. Normally for service, we uh, blanch these just so it's a little bit easier and uh, quicker pickup. I actually like mine with a little bit more crunch than most people. Go ahead and add salt and pepper to it. So, grape tomatoes. Garlic. Some shallot. I'm also going to hit it with some white wine. Finish it with a little bit of lemon. And you just kind of want to make sure that the tomatoes are somewhat blistered, steamed a little bit. All right, so those are good to go. Going to check on our grouper. where we want it so with that we're gonna add a little bit more chicken stock fresh shallots And then finish it with some butter and parsley. Just want the sauce to come together. So it gets that rich, nice sheen. And I think we're ready to plate. So to our risotto, we're going to add a little bit more chicken stock. Just to heat it back up. To that, I think we're going to add a little bit more herbs to it. So there we go. Right in the center of the plate. Veggies right in the middle. Not so much where they have to be placed, it's just kind of scatter them around. Grouper right on top. Make sure the sauce is together. And there's no visible parts of the like unmelted butter. And 
if it starts to break, all you have to do is just add a little bit of uh, chicken stock to it. Back on the heat. And it'll start to come together. top of it. Clean a little bit of plate. And that is it. This is uh, Chef Tim Hall and this is the Venetian River Club. Thank you.